So big number one though, Jerry Halliwell, big cover track of Ooh. It's Raining Men. So yeah, it's a cover of the Weather Girl single from September 1982 and the first single from Jerry's second album, Scream If You Want to Go Faster and the lead single to the Bridget Jones' soundtrack. Mm, it is. Uh, as you mentioned before, it took the number one off S Club for two weeks and gave it back for a week after that. Um, 13th biggest track of the year. It's quite impressive. Transformative for you? We always mention transformative when it comes to these kind of tracks. Uh... It's weird because it, it you can't you can't transform the Weather Girls vocals, and it's not about that. For me, this was all about the lower register of Jerry. Whenever she's like, <laughs> the melody's rising, mm-hmm. it was all about using her lower bit for sexiness. It wasn't about high notes. It wasn't about that. But it isn't I really like it. I do really like it. I've always loved it. I do think it's about her. Completely different vocal on it, but it's actually more about one Bridget Jones. Uh, because it's in a Bridget Jones scene where they're fighting. It's a hilarious fight. Right. And it's all about, for me, the music video at the time. So it, it all points to the music video, really, mm. which you kind of... It, it, you know, it's sold based on Jerry doing live performances and doing the routines and yeah. going and doing things, but it was very much about the video at this point. Yeah, the video is inspired by fame and flash dance and therefore totally up my mum's street because she loves those films. <laughs> yeah. We mentioned Chris Fork and how he potentially does some of his own stunts. Jerry... It's very obvious that she isn't doing much of that dancing, is she? We've we've so we've mentioned this before. She does a lot of the dancing. What she doesn't do, she doesn't do the flips. Mm. But Jerry was a walking target at this point because after leaving the Spice Girls, she was losing weight, and she's been really public about now her battle with bulimia. Mm-hmm. Because and this is like this. She was a size ten to twelve at most in the Spice Girls, and when she got to her smallest, I think she was a size six, and she was seven stone. So she went from nine stone to seven stone, which. You know, to to me, isn't me losing two stone isn't a much, but when you start out at nine stone to go to seven is a big deal. Mm. But this is where she became a walking target for her body shape. And I remember she just got absolutely ripped by the press, like really, really ripped and judged by the press. And the difficult thing is, and we've discussed this passing really quickly in the podcast before, you know, they were like, you can see the ribs in her back. And that was all over the papers. It's her stunt double. Yeah, you know, they've got the same frame, mm. but her stunt double doing the actual dance routines was the one that was in the video getting slated but nobody said it was a it was a, a an alternative dancer doing specific parts for her mm. but she does she does do way more of it than you would think All right, okay and she does actually do if you've have you watched the flash dance dance before yeah 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 have you ever seen it i haven't seen the film but i've seen the i've seen the dance yeah right so the she does it it, it is a very very good 2001 jerry with a robbie personality piss take of a Bridget Jones sounding track that still incorporates the Weather Girl. So there's loads of different facets to it that at first sight, you know, because I, I still listen back and think, oh God, she's covered as Rain and Men. But whenever I sit down and I'm actually really open-minded about it, it is, for me, really, really good. Well, I'll I'll, I'll not say too much then because I don't want to harsh you, Buzz. <laughs> no, go for it, go for no. it. Because I'm like, Liam, to be fair, this has been, she has been ripped for this for years. Yeah. Like this is her fourth consecutive number one. It's her most successful single to date, but she has just been ripped constantly well, I, for yeah. one covering the song and two being so skinny even though now the size she is is normal yeah no well I'm not I'm not, I'm not going to rip it for her body because why would I do that that's just not right nah. track wise I'm also not going to rip it I'm just going to say that I would never ever choose this compared to the Weather Girls and mm-hmm. it reminded me how much I like that track Yeah, which you know if, if it does anything that's fine I, I just think it didn't maybe this wasn't the intention but it it didn't evoke any of the camp quality that the original had. What do you not think? I, 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 I didn't I didn't see any oh. meaning in it beyond. No, I didn't really know. I think it's raining men by the Weather Girls is a camp classic, and it evokes such a thing. Whereas Jerry didn't evoke anything for me. It's like they put the original in like one of those vac- vacuum seal bags <laughs> and just oh. all of the charm and personality and humour and campness just came out. I was I was left with a, a vacuum sealed bag of. Yeah. Oh, I find her lower bits. I do find her lower bits sexy mm. when she sings, and it kind I d- of I d- always I d- definitely, have. definitely didn't find it sexy. Mm. 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 Oh dear, no. But this is unfortunately her peak as well. Yeah, the next track stone. So this wasn't really supposed to happen, randomly enough. So she was ready to go with another single called "Feels Like Sex," and all of a sudden she got offered this, and she felt like it was actually a gift to do this. So said yes, and this was sprung out pretty quickly mm. and you know this isn't this isn't you know J- jerry's register you wouldn't you would never think right we're gonna do a really high note track for you that doesn't sound like because usually if she's going to do a high note it's there's an operatic performing arts 
vibe to it because that's mm. how she hits her top notes. Mm. This is a very different thing to even try to give her. So hats off to her for the fact she did it. But yeah, yeah it wasn't really actually supposed to happen. But she's very, very lucky she did not release Freedoms Like Sex as that lead single. It probably would have sold because at the time it was Jerry. Yeah. But this was her golden ticket. This was definitely a golden ticket for Jerry.